did some house hunting for you, and we found the most expensive listing in America. Priced at $195 million and known as the Chartwell Estate, it was once owned by the late billionaire Jerry Parenchio, who ran the Univision television network. But it also had a starring role as the Clampett residence from the CBS sitcom The Beverly Hillbillies. Our Robert Frank takes us on a tour of this week's powerhouse. Back in 1986, the former Univision chairman purchased the Bel Air mansion and after a five-year gut renovation, transformed the interior into an authentic replica of an 18th century French chateau. The billionaire businessman filled the 25,000 square foot mega home with rare European antiques and made some significant modern day additions. The grand ballroom was designed for entertaining, and one of the special features of this property is that a flick of a switch, it becomes a theater. Now, I'm not gonna drop names, but on this very stage, you would have A-list performers who are used to playing in arenas, playing here for an intimate gathering of 100 guests. One level below is the estate's massive wine cellar. It's completely climate controlled and can hold 12,000 bottles of wine. You heard me right, 12,000 bottles. Mr. Parencio loved to entertain, so he built this 40-car motor court, and above it, he built a beautiful rose garden. Buried underneath the chateau are two tunnels, original to the home's 1935 construction. And this particular tunnel takes you to the spectacular pool and pool house. Pavarotti, who was a friend and a frequent guest of the estate, used to stay here often and he would come down to these tunnels and he would practice because the acoustics were so great. Figaro! The billionaire added a giant's head to the mouth of one of the tunnels. And while redwood trees are usually only found in Northern California, that didn't stop the TV titan from transplanting dozens of majestic sequoias to create a private redwood grove in his own backyard. Not only is there nothing like this in Los Angeles, I don't think there's anything like this in the country. Talk about billionaire bargains. Now, back in 2017, when this was first listed, it was listed for $350 million, making it, at that time, also the most expensive home for sale in America. Today, that $195 million ask means that it has taken a price cut of over 40%, but still remains the most expensive home. But you're saving $150 million. Oh, so you, you can feel it. good about that. Yeah, exactly. You know, I start to wonder, $195 million, what other houses have ever sold at a price range like that? It sounds crazy, but a house nearby with a similar kind of old French Versailles look just sold for $120 million. So it won't sell for $195, but maybe above $100, given that even though this seems outdated to us, a similar house nearby just sold for $120. And so it's possible that market, even though the top of the market now is weak, some of these special properties, especially with land like 10 acres, can do pretty well. Uh, who, who would your neighbors be if you were to move into this place? The neighbors used to be Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan. They had a house there for a long time. <laughs> but he bought that property. Now it's part of the driveway, I think. And Wait, he bought... He bought Ronald the Reagan's, Reagan's house and house, turned it into a driveway? And, and it was a, it was a teardown, became part of the property. Uh, so that's what wealth can get you. And Cheryl Teague still lives next door. So you can be Cheryl Teague's neighbor, which I think is pretty cool. Or they could buy that too and turn that into the <laughs> exactly. other Exactly, that could be the next teardown. Right.